Dangerous drinking water? A new report shows a chemical is in tap water and you might not even know about it. Four in your corners, Deborah Souverain went county by county here in southwest Florida to see just how safe our water is and she joins me live in the newsroom with what she found. Deborah. Amy, chromium-6 is a known cancer-causing chemical. However, most people out there aren't even aware that they're consuming it. And what I found out about our local tap water may surprise you. Each colored area on this map shows where a cancer-causing chemical called chromium-6 was found in tap water. The chemical was made famous by the film Aaron Brockovich. Exavalent chromium can be very harmful. So it kills people. Oh, yeah. Which tells the story of a single mother who exposed a California utility company for contaminating their water with chromium-6. But a new study is revealing the chemical is a widespread problem, and it's in your tap water, too. Test samples show Lee, Charlotte, and Collier counties all tested positive for the carcinogenic chemical. Collier County showing the highest levels in the area, with the greatest concentration found in Naples tap water. Several of Lee County's water supplies also tested positive, with Cape Coral's water supply showing the strongest levels of chromium-6, and Charlotte, which had the lowest numbers in the region. They're all well over the .02 parts per billion recommended by the California Office of Environmental Health Hazard Assessment. I called their office. It's an ongoing issue, and I think that the group that put out this report wanted to call attention to the fact that there are uh, levels of chromium-6 in the drinking water of much of the country. In fact, according to the recent study, this chemical many of us are consuming is linked to lung cancer and reproductive problems. Uh, chromium-6 does cause cancer. Our public health goal was based on a study that found uh, rats and mice who drank water with chromium-6 developed gastrointestinal tumors. You might be thinking drinking bottled water can help you avoid this chemical, but that's not necessarily the case. Your tap water actually has to go through more rigorous testing than bottled water. Reporting live in the newsroom, Deborah Souverain, Fox 4, in your corner.